Hey there, everyone. So, as we start using Slack for multiple Aperio efforts, uh, including Morpheus and Sakai QA, Jeff and I thought it might be useful to provide some helpful tips regarding Slack for those who haven't used the app before. Now, while it's an incredibly useful communication platform, as I'm sure some of you have already noticed, it's also very easy to find yourself being inundated with notifications out of the gate. So, thankfully, uh, Slack provides a lot of clever options for managing how you receive notifications and send out announcements. So I just wanted to provide a relatively quick video with info for maximizing your Slack experience. Um, before getting into it, however, I want to note that if you haven't done so already, you should download the Slack app to your desktop and or mobile device. While there is a web-based client, uh, the apps provide a really nice experience that's separate from anything going on in your browser. So let's start with channels. So, as you may have already noticed, uh, you can have several different chat rooms, or channels as they're called in Slack, uh, dedicated to different purposes. Within the Aperio team, for example, there's a general channel, a Morpheus dev channel, and a QA channel. These all function independently of one another. Uh, if there are certain channels that you find particularly important, you can star, or you know, favorite, uh, a channel to make it easier to access. Simply go into the channel, and upon hovering over the channel's name, you'll see a star appear to the left of it. Click on it, and you will now have a new starred channel, which will always appear at the top here for quick access. Um, additionally, there's also this concept of direct messages, or DMs. Uh, these are one-on-one -on -one conversations with individual team members. On the left, you'll see a list of people, as well as a number indicating how many people are in the team total. If you don't see someone that you want to DM, uh, click the plus button, and a list view of all the team members will display where you can scroll through or search for someone to DM. These messages will, of course, be visible to only you and the recipient. Next, let's talk about notifications. Specifically, how intense it can be to receive a flood of notification messages that you might not necessarily want or need to see. Uh, Slack provides some simple default notification rules that can quickly be set for your Aperio account, uh, referred to in Slack as a team. These rules will also therefore apply to all the channels in the account. Think of it as a, a one-and-done approach to managing the notifications you're going to be receiving on your computer. You can set these by selecting the drop-down next to the team name and going to Preferences under You. If you want to receive every notification message for the team, you can allow that but you might not want to be alerted for each and every new message. And if that's the case, you can set a default for only direct messages and highlight words. Uh, this will alert you if someone contacts you directly via DM or mentions your name in any channel. Now, as for highlight words, these are specific words that cause you to be notified if someone types them. So, for example, if I wanted to be involved in any discussion around the announcements tool, I can type announcements into the highlight words area. So, those are the general permission rules. You can, however, selectively override these defaults for any particular channel. Uh, this is useful if I want to be particularly involved in one channel, but not another. Say, for example, that I'm especially interested in Morpheus dev discussions. I can just click on the desired room, then I just have to select the alert bell icon at the top, and click settings for the room. I get a similar notification panel as a pop-up, except here I'm specifying the notifications that I want only for this particular channel. So this allows me to get a little more granular with my permissions. Lastly, let's say that I'm not interested in receiving any notifications for a given channel. I'm not involved with the work going on in that channel, so I don't really need to see these notifications at all. Uh, I can go into a particular channel's settings and select the option to mute the channel. This means that I won't get pinged with any notifications whatsoever from that channel and all messages therein will be marked as read unless I'm specifically mentioned by name. Even then, I won't receive a notification, but I will see that there's an unread message so I can see why I was mentioned. Uh, notice too that when I select this option, all the other notification preferences for this channel collapse, since it's overriding all the other preferences. Keep in mind as well that there's a Slack mobile app, which is pretty slick. Uh, on top of providing a really nice mobile experience, the app comes with its own permissions for teams and channels, separate from the desktop version. So you may find that you like receiving all notifications on desktop, but only direct messages and highlight words on mobile. 
You can really customize this to work best with your workflow. So in addition to these more general notification preferences, there's also a quick option for temporarily preventing notification alerts across all of your channels. If I'm going to be in a meeting for the next two hours and I don't want to be alerted, rather than go into my channels and change their preferences one by one, uh, then change them back two hours later, I can very quickly snooze all of my notifications. This will disable all notifications on desktop and mobile for a specific amount of time. All I have to do is click the alert bell icon at the top of the screen and choose the desired amount of time to snooze for. Once I'm snoozed, uh, a little Z will show up next to my status icon, meaning that others will see that I'm not getting notifications at that moment either. Pretty handy. Uh, additionally, if there's a certain period of time every day when I know that I won't be wanting to get bothered, uh, I can also enable an automatic do not disturb schedule. So once set, I will automatically go into snooze mode at this time every single day. Okay, and lastly, I just want to bring up some general ways to get people's attention in Slack via announcements. You can send out announcements to specific groups of people directly from the text field in a given channel. Uh, let's take a look at a few of the announcement types. First off, let's say I only want to get the attention of a specific person. If I type at, followed by a person's name, it will ensure that the person in question receives an announcement regardless of their notification preferences. Next, I'd like to get the attention of the people that are currently in the channel working with me, but I don't necessarily need to send out a blast to the people that are offline or snoozed. If I type at here in the chat field of a channel, it will send out an announcement notification only to the people I'm currently working with in the channel. If I have more important info that I want to relay to everyone in the channel, regardless of whether they're here or not, I can just type at channel. If I need to deliver information to absolutely every one of my team members in Slack, regardless of which channel they're in or not, I can type at everyone into the general channel to send out a blast announcement. Uh, keep in mind, however, that since these are announcements, they will override your audience's notification preferences, so you might want to use them sparingly. Okay. And those are the basics. So there's a lot of extremely clever functionality in Slack, from keyboard shortcuts to app integrations, and I highly recommend that everyone take a look at Slack's help documentation to learn more at their convenience. Uh, you can find a whole slew of articles at get.slack.help. Okay, thanks for watching. Looking forward to slacking with you.